Hello and welcome back to IT Performance. I have had a request about uh, how to program the keys, the buttons on the gaming mouse. And so here we go. So first of all, you need to download the software for Logitech. Uh, I will include a link in the description below. Uh, then once that's installed, down in the little um, notification bar area down the bottom right next to the time there will be a little G so go and pop in there double click on the G and the software shows up <clears throat> if you have more than one item like uh, headphones then they will show up in this area here um, and you can move between um, each item so go to the mouse uh, onboard memory so use profile stored on the mouse it's cool <coughs> excuse me and then click on the little arrow with the cog here um, this will show everything that is currently set up on the mouse and what each of the buttons are set up to do you can click on each of the buttons individually here um, and then click on the little arrowhead to assign a new command or edit current command or use generic or unassign the buttons so they don't do anything one of the main things is the DPI settings and then of course the reporting rate if you're using wanting to use the mouse on Nextbox, which you can now do uh, you may need to change the reporting rate down to 125 and so you do that here the DPI settings <coughs> <coughs> the DPI settings down the side here relate to the different settings set up along here so the maximum you can set it up to is 16,000 which is ridiculously fast um, the one in orange here is set up currently for me at 1200 and that's this DPI shift button and what that is used for is if you're in a um, game where you can use a sniper rifle or things like that it just means when you if you accidentally move the mouse while you're targeting something that uh, the target um, crosshairs will move a lot slower than normal um, to help you with um, just getting the exact right position for that shot um, the two buttons here uh, DPI label DPI up and down uh, they can be reassigned if you really want to uh, but what they do obviously is move the settings uh, between move the mouse DPI settings between what you've set up here I by default I have mine at 1600 for normal everyday use on my computer uh, and you can always change the default just by clicking on a different one of these and then hitting the assign default button um, and then or you can change the shift assign DPI shift um, to whichever one you like also and that's it really uh, that should automatically up when you make a change it should automatically update the onboard profile if that's where you're saving the got the profile to use and of course if you want to you can just restore the defaults also in here this is where you change the the colors on the mouse but also I suppose when you the lighting here these three lights here only light up when you actually chat therefore showing the DPI setting and they only light up when you click these buttons to move the DPI settings either up and down up or down which is a bit of an irritation for me because I thought it would be better if they 
constantly showed you which DPI setting you were on. Because when you're changing your DPI setting, let's be honest, you're not generally not going to look at your mouse. Um, you're more likely to look at your mouse when you're not changing your DPI setting to see which DPI setting you are currently on. The lights light up temporarily and go away pretty quickly, so they're a bit of a waste of space if you ask me. But hey, what do I know? Yeah, hopefully you found the video useful. Thanks very much. Come back and see my other videos. Okay, cheers. Bye.